Hello everybody, this is Xenocat823543, welcoming you back to another episode of Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles. Oh, I forget what I was doing because this is a new recording session. Oh, what was I doing? I know I finished all the quests, I remember I did that. So I guess, yeah, I guess now it's time to head to Tepper Cave. Yeah, I'll skip travel. Do we have green affinity yet? No, we don't. Oh, that means this is a perfect time to show off gifting. And yes, I know it's kind of a boring thing to start the episode off with, but hey, I want to do this now rather than later. What you do is, oh, I have to use those art manuals. Oh. Go into your collectibles menu. I usually sort them by type. It's the easiest way to find a, a specific collectible you want. Three flowers, two of the bugs. Shulk really likes blue chains, so I am going to give one from Ryan to Sh Shulk, not Fiora. See how it improved by... Oh, you couldn't see that. Sorry. I'll show it again. See how three hearts appeared? Most items, like there's rabbit diodes, if I give one to Shulk, only one heart will appear. That means less affinity than blue chains. And we get an achievement, which should mean that I have green affinity now. I'll put that in the, video, the exact wording, wording of the achievement in the video description. So now we can view the heart-to-heart -heart Enduring Friendship. through a lot together, you and me. Oh yeah, you remember that time? You know, that one time. When we had that big fight, that's the one. It's easily the biggest bust up we've ever had. In all the years I've known you, nothing else has come close. It was bad, all right. I'm just glad we made up afterwards. You know, for such a big argument, I don't even remember what it was about. We were really young. It's probably just some silly kid thing. You're probably right. Hey, Shulk, do you ever think about it? Without me bringing it up, I mean. Of course! I think about it sometimes. If we'd never had that argument, I don't think we'd be friends now. That's just what I was thinking. We must have said some pretty harsh things to each other. But it was worth it, right? It's why we're such good mates now. Yeah, it was definitely worth it. You know, it's funny how we think alike sometimes. I'd have figured you were still angry. Nah, no, not anymore. But you did get on my nerves back a bit back then. You were just too clever, man. It got under my skin. And I thought you were just this big, dumb brute. Hey, I guess that's what we were arguing about. Yeah, that sounds about right. But after all that fighting, we came out stronger. And we learned about each other. You know, I don't say this enough. Thanks, Ryan. I couldn't ask for a better friend. No problem, Shulk. And remember, you don't have to hold back. You can call me a big dumb brute anytime you like. I'll take it on the chin. Okay. Yay, level ups. 
Ooh, Ryan learned a new art. Don't remember which art that is off the top of my head. But now, we're in like five minutes into the video. Yeah, let's start Tepper Cave. Let's just get into Tepper Cave. We've been in Colony 9 for way too long. Believe me. And yes, I know I haven't completed the Collectopedia. Sometimes I complete it before starting Tepper Cave, but... Whatever. There are many types of monster. Yeah, I did that a while ago. I said it so that it will be displayed. Normal type. Vision type. And sound type. Yeah, there was the tutorial. Sorry, I have to show this. There were a couple of tutorials. We can learn now, yes! If there's multiple icons in an area, you might want to wear one of them. So you can make sure that other enemies don't fight it. Fight with it. Yes, beware of the danger level. You can read that. Anything else? Nope. And yeah, we did get a landmark there. And another achievement, which I'll go over at some point. And yes, I am overleveled, I am aware. But, we have a new Collectopedia! This was not the second page of the Collectopedia, it's an added page of the Collectopedia now. And we get Clarity Moss. Okay, that makes sense. And we need to hunt this Willow Bunniv. Oh dear, these are so out of order. Let me take a moment to rearrange my arts on Ryan. Sorry about this. I just want to switch those two arts. And you can see that we've earned quite a lot of AP through just doing stuff. And what do I want to invest this in? Probably the arts that I want to invest the most in are Wild Down. This is probably one of Ryan's best arts. Definitely invest in it. It's Topple. Topple is amazing. And yeah, Aura Burst, which inflicts strength down, by the way. If you're curious. Shulk. Yeah, Shulk has these five arts. I haven't shown you some of them, but... I'm going to be investing mostly in... Actually, no. Light Heal. Light Heal is very important to level up early. I don't think it's necessary to save up for the remainder, so I'm just going to level up Slit Edge and Backslash. Because they're both decent, pretty good arts. Fiora, I think I'll pass on leveling up her arts. And achievement, yay. Now what do I want to do? Let's show off some arts. Hammer beat. Or not. Okay then. That's hammer beat. Bone upper. War swing, the area of effect. Wild down. Ooh, yay. We've definitely gotten stronger. I'll show off the the rest later. Ryan's talent art just draws aggro, so don't worry too much about that. Now I could take the main path through all those guys, but there's a very powerful, unique monster that appears there, and I'm not even sure if I can take him on yet. I don't usually like to take him on till I'm level 12, and I'm only level 11, and that's a tough battle. And I'm level 11 right now. Yeah, you can see him down there in the caterpillar nest. Ooh, insanity mint. Okay.
You know what? Let's fight him. What the hey? What you want to do is mad taunt. Rage. Oh my god. We've definitely gotten stronger. I didn't even get a chance to do that. Well, rage is basically a spike aura. I didn't get to show that off well at all. This will be a breeze. Don't get careless, guys. This should be easy. Here's aura burst. Okay, yeah. Everyone, I'm not showing go. these arts off very well. What Guard Shift does is it prevents all attack, but increases the block rate to 100%, so that could be good. Ooh, another achievement. I'll put that in the video description. And Engage is a lock. Basically makes the enemy, for forces the enemy to attack Ryan. Regardless of aggro. Now that guy is actually someone I want to fight. I think I might actually show off some arts against him, because I haven't shown off Guard Shift or Engage yet, and Rage I didn't show off very well. Bone upper, war swing, not a great place to throw it off, but whatever. Now let's use guard ship. Tap it again to undo it because I lost the aggro. That guy wasn't too bad. There's another insanity man. And a confusion ivy. New collectible. Fiora took quite a beating there, though. Oh well. Here's confusion ivy. Yeah. Confusion ivy and clarity moss are the exact opposite things, basically. And we got a gold chest, of course. Yay, duplicate weapons. Ooh, and a glyph. Glyphs. Their entire purpose is just to be high-value items to be sold or traded away. What I would do right now, don't worry about glyphs. You can sell them. Later on, you might want to hang on to some of them, though. Why'd I use Rage there? Maybe because I can do that. Yay, easiness. Don't fall asleep, Fiora, please. Ooh, croaking bar brog bags. Save those. I'll tell you when, when something comes up that you'll need. When I get it. Or just sometime soon. That's the one problem with Aura Burst is that it is that it makes other enemies get involved in the fight. Yeah, that was because I used Wild Down a bit late there. Well, that wasn't that bad. I'm pretty sure you can just sell all these common materials that you're getting here. I'm pretty sure. I mean, don't quote me on that, but I think you can. I'm not comp positive. Ooh, I'm starting to get low on time. Oh, that I did not show that description for long enough. I'm sorry. There. Yeah, there's a little thick thing back here where you can find stuff. Just another confusion ivy. 
I'll come back for that unique monster later. Because I don't want to fight him now. Yeah, I know, I'm chickening out, but I, whatever. And we've just got to the, we've just reached the magma ruins. Now, we're coming up on a cutscene, so I think this is a good place to stop. What lies within the magma ruins? Find out next time.